hard not to enjoy. If I die, let me die. Let him live. Bring him home. to two years on and off. It's hard not to enjoy. It's certainly become a, st a staple in my life and my family's life, so uh, certainly more rewards than. Yeah, every time you're not on stage, you're changing. Basically, people get, there's very rare times that I get to go back to the, the dressing room, which honestly suits me a lot more than going back to the dressing room and waiting to go on. I'd rather just keep going. It certainly suits my personality more. Voice. And again, I'm not hugely trained, so I don't have a lot of vocal knowledge. But um, you know, there'd be A, B, C of looking after your voice. But uh, I think it's it's very personal, and it also depends where you are in, in the show. In an eight, you learn in an eight show week. Okay, this is what I'm going to need round about midway. This is what I need at the end. This is um, so it does change. And it's not necessarily the height of the show, it's also, so it's not the quantity of the, your singing, it's also that a lot of this, especially the early stuff, and then you have something very intimate, very quiet, very delicate, an hour and a half later, and, and so it's, uh, it's also what the quality of what you're being asked is, uh, is challenging as well, in a good way. I had laryngitis in Brisbane. That's the only time I've lost my voice, so I didn't know it was laryngitis because it felt great. You just don't know, it just disappears. And luckily enough, it didn't disappear on stage, but um, I did lose my voice, yeah. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it, I feel, you know, you know, people sit down and they watch this show, and so they should. I'd be, I'd be the biggest one to sit down and say, I love this show, you better bring it. But I can't, I can't control your expectation of me and what I do. I can't influence it, I can't control it, and I can't influence that other than do my job. Once I got hold of that, everything, that side of it's been, been great. Um, I do feel the expectation, but I, it doesn't uh, affect me in the way that it did when I first started. Because I had expectations on myself that were huge as well. I've never done a role that's been so loved and, and across such a long time. In fact, for the last Gee, 10 years or so I've done only original work where there's no expectation. There's expectation that it's, you want it to be good and the story to be good and you to, but there's no expectation from history. My wife would say, I just wish we could shave it. Um, <laughs> but uh, not really sometimes, especially when I go on a break, it gets proper bikey, grizzly Adams. Um, so we just shave it down. But we have, you know, Connie, our head of uh, hair and makeup, the best of all time. It's really easy. That is clear. The same. I just feel like you could run a shaver and just go like that around, <laughs> and that's how. That's the only thing that happens. So it's a it's a pretty dynamic look. And I went to shop for sunglasses with my daughter uh, a few weeks ago, and every time I put on and I look at her, she'd go criminal each time. <laughs> so it's very hard to get a pair of sunglasses without looking like a criminal. Apparently, uh, she's very very uh, honest. <laughs> We're done? Yes? Awesome. Nice to meet you guys.